What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? We are currently here at the beach. Today's gonna be a fun video, man. You guys know I've been loving my salt water, and if you guys remember like a couple of videos ago, I made a video fishing with the smallest rod and reel combo on Amazon, the micro pen rod. Now, the reel on that combo was actually conventional, and you guys told me, you're like, yo, there's a spinning one. Why didn't you get the spinning one? I don't even know there was a spinning one. So I went back on Amazon, I got one of the spinning reels. It's still like a micro pen rod thing. And we are going to be trying to use that today here in the salt water, man. I do, I, I don't know if this is gonna work. I definitely have like a little more faith in this thing because of the spinning reel. Really quick, you guys, before that. So today, guys, this video is actually sponsored by World of Warships. I just want to take a second and thank them for coming together with me to sponsor this video. And I mean, you guys know me, man. If I'm promoting something, that means it's pretty good. If you guys don't know what it is. Basically, it's a massive game. Over 7 million people play it worldwide. In this game, I mean, it's pretty sick. You can command a naval fleet. You go on missions, you get into battles, you unlock new ships. I mean, you just want to, like, conquer the ocean. It's pretty sick. Basically, it is the thinking man's action game. There's a really good balance between action and strategic gameplay. Whether it even affects how you battle, I mean, you go into a battle with rough seas, it's, it's, you're going to change things up, you know? In this game, it takes an average of six months to create a ship from scratch. That is crazy, man. That's so cool to be. If you use this code right here, you're going to get 250 doubloons, which are in-game gold, 1 million credits, which are used as currency, three days of premium so you can earn more XP and credits in every battle, a premium warship, and a port slot. So yeah, guys, overall, this game is pretty realistic. I would highly, highly recommend downloading it in the description below, man. It's completely free. So yeah, thanks to them for making this possible. Link in the description, code in the description. All right, let's get to this video here today. All right, let's crack this thing open right here. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It is kind of windy over on this side but here we go man I'm gonna pop it open like this okay now this is where the whole pen thing comes from in the micro pen rod basically you open this you little pop. wow this one actually comes with line on it too all right guys here we go man this feels so weird listen to this drag real quick oh oh that is Dude, this just feels like so freaking weird man i mean at least it actually works like i could drop it. i could actually pitch this unlike the last so one. yeah man this is going to be the game plan here for this i have this little jig head tied onto the end of this this is just a one fourth ounce like little bottom jig and over here man we have some fresh sand fleas i just picked up from the store these guys are all very lively this is what we're going to do man sand flea on the jig i have no clue if this is going to work or not here we go guys first cast sand flea going down right here there's a little deep hole i fished here before so I know there's definitely like a little deep hole down here. Very, very snaggy though. Like I will be very surprised if we do not lose any setups in this little fishing session. Yeah, there's like, there's just a number of things we can catch here. This is why, dude, I've been on a binge of saltwater recently. Oh, we are snagged. All right. I got a fish. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. Oh my gosh, come here, come here. Let's go, dude. First fish on the micro pen rod. Oh my gosh, that could barely lift this guy up. That's actually, though, that's actually a decent sea bass right there. Top of the mouth. Oh gosh, this guy hammered that sand flea. All right. Here we go, guys. Micro pen rod, salt water. We got a little sea bass right there. It took a little bit to get a bite, but yeah, man. Nice looking fish right there. That guy, I'm telling you, man, I felt like I was snagged. Let's let him go. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know if I could hook up with a fish bigger than that. Crazy thing too, there's a bunch of other species and even stronger species. Like if I got a tog that size, dude, this thing probably would have freaking snapped in half. All right, man, this is fun, this is fun. Let me get a new sand flea on here. Basically what I did, I just cast it as close as I could to that wall a little bit out and that guy just smacked it on the way down. There's a fish. Ah, uh, dude, this is so much fun, man. I just want to see how long this reel can stand the salt for as well. I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I have too much faith in this thing. Oh, I'm getting hit. I got a fish. Oh, that's one of the things I was afraid of. This rod is so small, and I don't know about this uh, this line. I mean, I hooked him, but he went right into the rocks, cut me off. All right, let's get retied here. There's a fish on. I didn't even think there was a fish on there. All right, come here. This drag is loose, but that is, uh, oh gosh. My reel just popped out for my freaking reel. Rod, oh, oh my gosh. That is very similar to the first looking one. That, actually, that might be a little bit bigger, dude. Same exact species though, let me see. He hit on that as well. Um, Yeah, no, there's no other hook marks. This is a new fish. Uh, maybe it's a little bit bigger? Not exactly sure, but yeah, man. Second fish of the day, little black sea bass yet again, man. That is freaking crazy, dude. I mean, this dude hit it. I didn't even know he was on. I thought I was snagged. That is how powerful these little guys are compared to my little rod. But yeah, man, these little fins are so cool. I just think these little guys, I mean, they get a lot of hate in the saltwater community, obviously, because when they're around, there's just a million of them around and it can get kind of annoying if you're targeting other fish. But I really do think those are cool fish. We need to put some respect on their name. What happened? All right, that's not the most secure. As I was trying to reel that guy in, the reel kind of popped off. I mean, it still worked, but I don't know, man. This is working right here. Hopefully, there's not only sea bass over here. I would really, really like to go find some other holes. I mean, maybe we will in a second. But it's just so hard because, I mean, even if I turn this way, the wind is crazy whipping super super current like everywhere else i mean the tide i don't know if it's going in or out or what i probably know that a little 
little taps, little taps, little taps. Got him. Oh my gosh, drag. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so fun, man. All right, third sea bass of the day. I'm kind of seeing a little pattern here. I put some gulp on here. I tried that a couple times. Nothing really went for it. Which, I mean, that's kind of surprising since there's so many sea bass. But yeah, man, third one of the day. Nice little fish. Let him go. All right, y'all. A little bit into this session. Not too bad, man. We are not doing too bad. The micro pen rod is putting in some work. We're actually catching some fish on it. It has been the same species, but I mean, hopefully we're going to get on some more. We're going to be walking down that way, switching spots, see if we get anything else. But before that, man, I'm going to get my big rod here. I got a spoon tied on. Yeah, I'm going to throw this thing around for a little bit. Dude, this inlet is so rough right now. Dude, these birds are diving. I mean, these birds have to be diving for something. When birds do this, that usually means a couple of different things. I threw some lures out there. I almost hit the birds, but I did not catch anything on that. Now, this could either mean that there's bigger fish chewing up bait and the bait's rising to the top. These guys are diving on that, or they could just be diving on bait. I really don't know what it is, but it just looks so good, man. They're just constantly diving, like right there. Now, over that way, dude, it's just like freaking crazy. These waves and this current, like if you fall in this right now, you are, you're, you're dead. All right, I'm gonna grab my stuff. There's some guys down there tog fishing, but that's like the deep water and deep current, and you need a giant rod for that. We are not prepared for that, so we're gonna go this way. I don't know, man. We're going to see what happens. See a lot of green crab legs and claws. That's a good indicator if you guys ever want to find like a tog fishing spot. Like if you come here, you got no clue where to go. Just look for where there's green crab legs and claws and all that. All right, I'm going to put my stuff here. I'm going to throw the spoon around. Uh, 12 inch. Only 12 inch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. So I have to really Ah, good luck, man. All right, y'all, back with some sand fleas. The wind actually kind of died down over here right now. It feels pretty good. Out. Pretty much, I'm just throwing this in between the rocks right here. We're going to see if anything's going to hit it, man. If a tog hits this, that's like bigger than... I don't know. If any tog hits this, probably this thing is going to just explode. Oh, yeah. Dude, I just talked to over there. has a nice freaking tog on. Dude, he's in the hole, man. He said he caught... I think his biggest was 12 inches, but still. Dude, that's a nice freaking fish, dude. I just got to find the holes, man. Oh, what the heck? That's somebody's line. What in the heck? All right, snap. Let's put that in my pocket. All right, yep. There goes my last. Oh, yep. Jake had DNR police. I'm actually really surprised I haven't gotten any hits on this spoon yet. This time of the year, I mean, I figured there'd be some smaller bluefish. I mean, everything should really be around here right now. Maybe I'm a little too soon on that. I mean, bluefish definitely, but I don't know. All right, guys, after all that, we are back to the original spot right here. The tide has been coming in, so I'm wondering if it's going to bring any fish to this spot. I wonder if I already brought fish to this spot. I feel like I can finally, like, see you guys now. I've had my sunglasses on the whole day. I feel like I can see the world. All right, yeah, basically, we're going with the micro rod again. I have a little hook on there, and I have a little split shot. I ran out of jig heads, but that's all good. We're just going to toss it down there, see if we can get anything besides the sea bass, or maybe some more sea bass. Let's see what we can do. So weird switching back to this after using that big old rod. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. That's a fish. That's a fish. I was just going to say what technique we're using. Okay. Seems like these dudes have not left. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. All right, man. As long as we're catching fish, right. I'm going to need you to chill out, buddy. Oh, wow. That guy's got some sharp teeth. All right. Another sea bass, dude. This is... I mean, as long as we're catching fish, right? There he goes. That dude has some sharp teeth. Freaking scissored my thumb. If you guys ever do want to try out a micro pen rod, I mean, this one's actually pretty fun. The other one sucks, though. Don't get the conventional reel, man. Whatever you do. It's just really, really nice and relaxing out here. Just listening to the sound of the water. I mean, nobody else is on this side. I got this whole honey hole of sea bass to myself. All the anglers on the other side of the inlet are probably all jealous. All right, so fast forward a little bit later, I was kind of watching a guy who had two Shimano Stellas. He, he looked like he knew he was doing tog fishing. So I kind of watched him for a bit, not like creepily. I hope not, I wasn't creepy. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I got the bigger rod, threw some sand fleas on it. There's a fish. Fish on. What do we have here? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the new species here for today. Oh my goodness. Tiny one. Gotta be very careful with these dudes because their mouth is like freaking crazy. But yeah, there we go guys. Second species, I believe. Well, that's the second one, right? A little oyster toadfish. I don't really want to mess around with this guy too much. There he goes. So the sun just set. I'm out here trying to fish for some tog or I saw some people pull up some giant sheep's head. And yeah, it's gonna get dark pretty soon, but I just got the rod in the water. Alright guys, that is going to be it here for this video today. I'm surprised man, the micro pen rod actually did pretty good in the salt water. Now we didn't catch giant, giant fish, but those sea bass we were catching weren't like little tiny ones, you know? That thing was a lot of fun. Definitely if you guys want to see me use that more, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, if you would be so kind as to give this video a thumbs up, it really, really would mean a lot. It lets me know, you know, I'm doing a good job. As always guys, I really, really do appreciate all of the support. A big thank you again to World of Warships for partnering up with me. Definitely give it a chance guys, it's free, link in the 
the description as well as that code man if it's your first time downloading it and you put that code in you're gonna get a lot of free stuff it's yeah definitely worth it. i just finished the edit for this video and yet again i am up late the sun is probably gonna rise very very soon i just want to take this time man to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video it really really does mean a lot man like, all of these support means so much to me if you do like my videos and if you're not already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell and if you never ever ever want to miss an upload from me because i know youtube and notifications and everything sub boxes some videos just don't get sent out like that's a fact you go down there follow me on instagram i always post a story of when i post a video and i also post other stuff on there too i gotta start posting more on instagram i gotta keep up more with the stories and with like you know actually pictures so i'm gonna start doing that actually i'm gonna start posting a lot more starting right now and yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video man micro pen rod in these salt waters definitely a lot of fun man i want to catch even bigger fish on it like i want to feel i don't i don't know if it can handle it but i i think it'll be so much fun thank you so much again for all of these support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video